How's it going there YouTube? This is ODC That's Me and I'm back with another action figure update. Um, this is actually um, my first video of actually showing how to do uh, a head swap. Uh, I haven't done any step-by-step -step videos of how to do stuff like that so I figured I might as well start with the head swap because it's probably the easiest thing to do and um, for most people they should, they should pretty much everybody should know how to do a head swap if you're an action figure collector um, so basically I got uh, I, I did my review yesterday of the uh, Batman legacy modern Batman so if you haven't checked that out check that out and uh, I um, <clears throat> recently saw um, Rob's from Rob's Rogues channel. Um, so if you haven't checked out his channel, go check his out. I have the uh, link in the description box below. Check out his channel. He's got a great channel. Um, I also have a couple, uh, a few other reviewers down there. So check out their channels too. They're really great people and they have really great channels. But uh, Rob from Rob's Rogues did a uh, really, really nice review on a review slash um, custom step-by-step -step head swap um, of how to do on the poopy face Batman, which is the modern Batman here. I'll just stick his head up. Oh, his head doesn't want to stay. Okay. This head and switch this head with the clay face two pack or also known as the poopy Batman. So, I figured I, I figured uh, you know why not show how to do it because it, it can be kind of a pain in the rear end if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, so I figured why not do this video. So now what I did was and you see a peg with with the Clayface two pack, but not a peg sticking out with the modern Batman. Um, what you have to do is when you pop this head off, okay because this collar is made of plastic on the Batman and this collar right here is made of like a rubber it's it's, it's more of a rubbery material um, the peg pops out with the head and when you pop this head off the peg stays in the hole thank God um, so I'm like, oh god, it's gonna be one of those because I've done head swaps before where the peg has popped off with the head, and it takes forever for me to get the peg the peg out. But what I've devised is a new tool to actually remove the peg from the head within a matter of seconds. Um, all you need is some hot water, um, a sink, and a fork. So basically what I did was I stuck a fork in between. I used the prongs to stick the fork in between here and I just used leverage to just kind of pry it this way with that. So it popped the peg right out and it was easy, easy as pie or cake or whatever you choose. But um, the peg came right out real easy, real smooth, um, no damage to anything, no damage to the head. So. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a head swap right now and I just pop the this um, this peg in by actually I actually um, in Rob's Rogues reviews he says this peg hole from this head is smaller from the peg hole in this head. This head is bored out a touch. Let me see, I'm not getting my light here. There we go. This peg hole is actually larger. Come on. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. There you go. This peg hole is larger than this peg hole. So what I did was I took my Dremel and um, and I just bored it out a touch, not, not nothing too crazy, but I bored it out a little bit where it was just a little bit more smoother for it to get in. It'll still go in. I just didn't feel like messing around with it, so I bored it ahead of time and it popped right in. So I'm just gonna do this on camera real quick and I'm just going to pop his head on and it doesn't take long see it didn't take me very long to pop the head on and I'm gonna pop his head on also so come on come on you little Susan get on there alright 
I should probably use some hot water on this just to uh, loosen up the plastic. But I'm going to do it the hard way because that's peg keeps moving on me, that's why I can't get the head back in. Okay, I'm going to pause this. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, the both the heads are on, and uh, I just needed to use a little bit of hot water to get the head back on. Um, I don't think there's really much else to say about this. Um, that's basically how you do it. Um, so you need hot water and a fork to get the, in case you ever get a head with a peg stuck in it, um, a fork works beautifully. And um, yeah, so these heads fit and they fit nicely. And um, yeah, there you go. I mean, there is a little bit of a wiggle effect with him. It's a little bit loose, a little bit too loose, more loose than I'd like it, but they're different pegs and different peg holes. So, and it, I mean, if you don't, move him around a lot it's not gonna sh jiggle all over the place like a bobblehead but i mean it just moves a little bit looser than normal so um yeah there is my update of the swapped head modern batman he looks great with this head and uh yeah let me know what you guys think rate comment subscribe and i will see you guys on the flip side